right? Because that's what we do. We, we hit the record button. We got to get content out of here. We got to get content out of this somehow. EA CEO Andrew Wilson has already seen and played Battlefield's next title through an early build. Wow. A few weeks ago, I was visiting with the teams. Quote, a few weeks ago, I was visiting with the teams. I could be more excited about what they showed, uh, what they showed and what we were able to play. It will be a tremendous live service. Now, class, if you would so kindly uh, tell me what the what what was the monetization uh, plan for the last two games? Did you say did you say live service? Delicioso? Did you say live? Did, is that what you just said to me? Now, class, what what's the last two? What are what are the two worst battlefields to come out? Did you say the last two? Arguably, especially this one, especially the one we got now. Did did you say twenty forty two? Is that what you said? Now, class, what's the least amount of content we've gotten in a battlefield game with what uh, monetization plan? Did you say live service and BF5 in 2042 is the least amount of... What? Wait, 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 wait. I could have sworn... I could have sworn this was a good thing. Like, I just don't... I The definitions, the definition of insanity, and we all do this. The, de the definition of insanity is doing something over and over and over again and expecting a different outcome. We all do it. I do it. People in chat do it. I'm live right now if I, if I upload this for a video. We all do it, right? But at, are you going to, at what point, and all of us have to come to terms with what we do over and over again and expect, at what point do we go, hmm, maybe... We should not do this anymore. Dice, or sorry, not dice. EA, who are the decision makers here, suits. What about the last two games have given you even a, a, a clue or an or even the idea to continue this monetization slash content? post-launch content plan? Like what jumps out at you that it's a good idea? Other than looking at other games and saying, we can do that because you haven't done it in six years. You haven't. BF5's post-launch content, whack, outside of the P Pacific update. I like Firestorm too, so they're, they're you know, you were, you were cooking with a little something-something in BF5, all right? You were cooking with a little something-something. It was better than this game. You were, you were cooking towards the end of BF5, and then you just cut support. You know why you cut support? Because it's a live service game, and as soon as the player base dips, or you can just go, ah, well... And just dip, right? 2042, I don't even know. Do we even need to go? <laughs> 2042 live service speaks for itself. Awful. The worst post-launch trash. I don't need to go in. You know that. The suits know that. The people who work on the game know that. Everybody watching this right now live or as a video also know that. Why then would you... I just... I don't know, man. They 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 know more than we do. That you y'all know more than we do. You're looking at the stats, and the stats say that live service is bigger than it's ever been, and it's actually way more profitable to other people and to other games and to other franchises, not yours. You cannot sit here and tell me that BF5 of 2042 on their own have made more money than BF1 and BF4 did. You you just can't... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's... <laughs> I just... I don't know, man. I don't know. You're telling me this game was like... It may have been profitable. I don't think it was. But it may, it may have been ended up being profitable after years now but like do you care about like I don't know man I, you just you, you don't care at the end of the day you don't care EA DICE or EA 
because you're the ones, you know, spouting out this gar. Should I even? Can I even scroll? I'm kind of scared. The tremendous live service. Here we go again. <laughs> I mean, they're getting destroyed in this comment section. I haven't even looked at them. This is this is. Fr I don't want to scroll too far because. You know, you might run into something I ain't supposed to run into. <laughs> but they're getting destroyed in this comment section. If this quote is even real, I'd have to have to go look it up myself. But Battlefield Bolton is usually I mean, I don't think he's gonna misquote uh, Andrew Wilson here, but I don't I don't know what makes you think this is a good idea. I don't I just don't I, I would be more upset at this if if I could have the energy for Battlefield anymore. I'm, I'm running. I'm running low. I'm running on fumes here. But okay, so this confirms one of two things. Actually, it confirms a lot. Number one, if the next game has a launch anything near to BF5s or BF5s, we'll just say 2042. If it has a launch anything near to 2042, uh, it's over for the Battlefield franchise. It is. It, scrap it. Sell it to somebody. Let go of dice. Let them go do their go under somebody else or something. Get it. Get it out of here. Uh, number two, the post-launch content is going to be garbage. Um, we're never going to go back to the map pack system. We're never going to go back to the themed map pack system. Really, obviously, they have themed seasons now. Uh, the store is here to stay. Don't really care about that. It's just cosmetics. Who cares? The battle pass is here to stay. Again, don't really care about that. It's just cosmetics. Slash, you can unlock the guns, but it's for free. So again, if they put the guns in the in the battle pass, I don't really mind it. I'd rather you do challenges than put them in the battle pass, but I don't mind. And um, prepare to be drip fed, uh, depending on where the player counts at and uh, dollar signs on the spreadsheet. So, um, but you know, you'll be able to buy a year one pass like twenty forty two. And after that year one, they're gonna they're gonna get in a meet, big old meeting room, crunch the numbers, see if the dollar sign is where the investors want the dollar signs to be, and if it's not, they're gonna drip for another year, cut it off, and then release another game, rinse and repeat, baby, milking us dry, milking us dry for pennies. This let me let me let me give you guys a quote. Are you ready? See, as I get older, and depending on where you grow up, you can you can gain some some knowledge. You know, passed down through the generations. I love this quote. You're stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. You, EA, you, Dice, you're stepping over dollar bills to pick up dimes. That's what you're doing. That is what you're doing. I, I don't know. Again, I don't know what your spreadsheet looks I don't know what the, I don't know. So maybe you, maybe you do. But you're stepping over dollar bills to pick up dimes with this bullshit live service. I'm sorry. It doesn't work for a for this. You don't have a BR yet. I know it's coming. <laughs> so maybe, you know. It doesn't work, man. This one map every four or five. It, it's just gonna it's gonna devolve into that again. It just is. Outside of the Pacific uh DLC for BF5, I'm pretty sure. In twenty or, or BF five, it was only one map at a time, right? I, I I'd have to think back, but with this game, it was one map at a time. I know oh, season seven has stadium. It they came out one at a time. <laughs> Miss me? Like I just 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 chalk it up, boys. We're cooked. We're cooked. We're never getting premium back. We're cooked. DLC we're, like it's just. Do I even? Do I even like? I need to jump ship. I held on for dear life. I held on because I love Battlefield and they don't love me back. So, EA doesn't care about what we think. Um, it is what it is. I mean, what what else is there to say that hasn't already been said? There, <laughs> you're gonna try live service for a third time and expect it to be any better than the last two. I just don't know what to tell you. Didn't BF one try a BR? No, BF five did, but it wasn't free. It was behind the full game paywall, and it wasn't 100 players, and they updated it twice, and that's it, and they cut support. So they should have. If they would have made Firestorm free, we're, we're having a different conversation about where Battlefield is as a franchise. I know that sounds crazy, 
but we are because I actually liked I really liked Firestorm, but um, yeah, man, it just it, this like I just GGS boys, we're cooked. We are cooked. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I'm done ranting. There's there's nothing else to really say. Uh, Andrew Wilson L again. You're used to these though. You accept them. You like them. L and uh, Dice. I'm sorry that these motherfuckers up in these offices, or maybe it's somebody in the office and we just don't know about, are making decisions like this. I'm sorry. And uh, you know I'm not gonna harp on the devs too hard because I mean they're at the mercy of. Whatever. All right. I'm out of here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. All links down description down below. Twitch, YouTube, all that stuff. And uh, we're actually live right now while I'm recording this. So, yeah, I'm going to go. Goodbye. <laughs>